Okay, what next? We're back. Just bought a ghost dragon for five engineers, basically made that trade, flagged this building. I'm hoping it's going to be relevant because we've got Isra and we've got what I thought was a necropolis we were going to conquer. We can run back to receive the army for this week, which is coming. Uh, do I have it out my sleeve though for that? Probably, right? It's day one. I'm here, I can go... Spacebar? How nice is that? Do I have time or need or inclination to waste a day of his time? I don't think I do, actually. But the Derek I do, uh, I do want. More gems. More cash. More, 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 more. Big oil. That's the thing. Right. Big oil, indeed. So I'm going to stay here. I'm actually a day out of the loop, though, anyway. Uh, that Derek has been missed. Oh, there's no point. Might as well just do this. Yeah. Okay, atrocious movement. Look at the army, though. And upgrading the catacombs is not very expensive, so I'm minded to go for that. So she has the wisdom. It might be worth it to build so that I can build a mage guild. But these resources aren't too bad for me now, and a grand isn't very much. So I'm going to do it. Woohoo, there we are. Third level. We're only down to one window now on each side. Uh, we whiffed. Okay. Frostring... Half playable. Probably won't be casting these other two things. Okay. That was a gamble worth taking, though. That's alright. Tomorrow we buy all the stuff, and I am going to gallop to about here, the underground. So that's a useful thing for you to do, is to go and get ready to receive those soldiers. May as well stop at the well. Anyway, enough about me. Uh, a horde of nymphs goes down to this army pretty hard. Uh, so let's do that. Yes, but I don't want to lose anyone. Uh, speed 8, speed 9. Why would I lose two? I don't get why why it's saying that. Um, this just kills all of them. Yeah, yeah, It's not even a fight. It's not even a realistic... Reluctant to turn down Earth Magic. Um, he has the interference... Um... Earth magic. I think logistics is doing more for us, especially in the short term. I might start investing in XP. Okay, now that we have our capital, we can be a little bit more generous. Where are my whites and... Okay, they're there. All right. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay, doing well. Tan, having a good time up on the surface. Isra. Buy the soldiers and let us venture forth. We know we want these, so that's a no-brainer. Especially with your grand elves, right? So let's do that. So it develops a green glowing portal out the front of the uh, what looked to be an abandoned mine shaft. So it's here they are, the OKs, or you can have basic sandworms. So basic sandworm, as I say, looks like a minotaur, but faster and flying. And this thing goes to health 60. Attack is 15 and 12 instead of 13 and 12, but goes to health 60. And speed 10, so it's basically a Thunderbird. Um, but on top of, instead of lightning casting Lightning Bolt like a Thunderbird, instead of that, it, it, you can devour a corpse for additional strikes. So, let's go for these. Not very much more money. Oh, 
look at them! Crikey! Imagine coming up against that! Yikes! All goys! All goys, let's go, boys! Do I want these movement four halflings? 50 of them, what could I do with them? After I've given... Uh, given this factory army to these two heroes, I can take the Bone Dragon and any skeletons he gets, and I can have the Halflings as well. Except for the fact that I don't have enough money, but I will have by the time I've done some of my day. Sure. Right. She's actually... We're probably going to have to skip a turn here, so you've got a day off. Come do, come do this. Come back to about here. So you may as well get this money. And is it money? Let's go for XP. Let's make this guy into something. Yeah. Because it's good. And we've got another hero coming as well. Up she goes. I've already got water on this girl, so we'll stick to our guns. Isra. To, you're going to get to about here. So she's looking solid enough now herself. This fellow still doesn't know any spells. So that's a problem. Um, okay, day two. You've been here, you've done that. You've been there. Go here. So because they're movement four... I'm gonna. I feel like these could be of use, and we leave 14 back. They're movement four. These are movement four. So there's very little downside to doing this. She's got her spell book. Um, there's no ammo point getting an ammo cart. Come here, chat with my man. Take the legs. Um. Keep the centaurs. Yeah. All right. See you later. Oh, I'm gonna get you anyway. Get the bloodlust. Come to here. And we're gonna fall pretty far short, actually. So tomorrow, Isra's. Yeah, really not getting to. Well, actually, look, she can get all the way to there. So underground, she'll probably make it to about there. She's gonna go boom, go back down to about here. So yeah, we should probably use his, his moves to come back to there ish. Okay. Sauron, don't you take those elves out, man. I want those elves. I want that Pandora's box. This is what you want to see, though. You want to see Tan wasting quite a lot of hero's time or just taking turns going to the Seeing Stone, the kind of thing you would have done as a beginner in the campaign, you know, like carefully levelling up every hero and never taking any risks. Um, that's the kind of behaviour we want to see because it means they're wasting their time while we're making amazing use of ours. So, she comes to here, but after she's done it, she's only going to get back to about there. Which isn't very good. So, I think it kind of didn't work. And what we probably want to do is just crack on with this fellow get ready to maybe have a go at this treasury tomorrow. Yep. Plus one knowledge. Alright. I'll take the gold this time, I think. Free the prisoner. No major downside to this. 
And another third de daring display of daring. There are criminals all over the map here. I do this and I get... Ooh. Jabarkas. The barbarian. He is a level one barbarian. So, okay. Our luck runs out. Okay, he's good at orcs, but who cares? Probably not really planning to use Jabarkas for much at all, other than as a fairy man. Which he actually can be now. Um, give me the skellies. Um, give me the stuff as well, because I'll be passing that on. Well, I actually kind of feel like you should give me everything, man. You take my army and uh, you can go for a wander with that. I'm going to stop investing in this fellow, though. Just, I'm not sure if that might have been a mistake. Jabarkas, uh, so she comes down. The girl we want to actually do the job. She's heading to here. Right, that's her destiny. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Comes as far as she can. Jab. Gives everything he's got. This is fine. Do I want her slow? I don't want her to have 12 skeletons. Um, but I do. That's okay. The one bone dragon is fine. If, so the sandworms will get minus one morale to that, but who cares? It's okay. Yeah. Alright, so he's the one who's going to work with Isra to get the army down here, so that's useful, Jabarkas. Thank you. Well done, man. Let's find out about him. Being the eldest son of Duke Borogus, Jabarkas knows that he will one day rule the lands of Krulov. Like his father, he has learned that the best way to achieve his goals is through conquest. Okay, well. Not leaving anyone guessing there, are you? You're not exactly a man of mystery. Um, let's get the Derek, yeah. It's worth going out of your way for. Construction. Nothing urgent, right? Like, we don't need any of this to be built on day three. No orders. Okay. Back she goes. She's running back around that way. Tan still dallying around up there. Okay, Isra, bring me the stuff. Uh, just in case. Leave. I'll leave a little bit of movement there, just in case I need to get out of the way of someone. Jab. Okay, so I've got 44 skellies now, that's actually not nothing. No, she deserves the bone dragon, but the bone dragon's going to be handy for these. And I feel like I've got so many gut people in the area that we'll be able to reconstitute ourselves as needed. Sam is ready to fight the gremlins today, but that's going to be a gimme. I think it's the treasury I want to fight here, actually. And we could use this fellow to do that. Um, it's not very bad to run onto here with Clancy and, and change our mind. Why don't we do that? Wrong again, of course. It just seems like it's a bit too much. On the other hand, it could be just five stacks of 30. And we get to fight two, kill them completely. I might be all right. We could sacrifice the gobos and the orcs. I mean, they don't matter at all. Isra is exhausted. Jabarkas comes to... 
here. Give me the things I need to kill the dwarves. None of that's gonna matter. I think the yeah the orc the orc and uh, goblins are better than the one bone dragon. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So I never like ending up in this situation where all my good heroes are all bunched into one area. Um, pretty nice. Right, he's a good looking hero now. I think he can beat a throng of dwarves. It's only a hundred, and they're not even good ones. Okay. Not enough. All right, let's have a go. Let's have a look at the animation of these sandworms. Dives under the earth, pops up, crushes. Very nice, very nice indeed. Because they have movement three, right? Yeah. So you can just isolate. Oh. It's an absolute walk in the park. Um, let's wait with you. Can I shoot you? I can. Big damage, great. And I can just do this? Take one step back? One, two, three, I can just wait. <sighs> uh, terrible. <laughs> Don't quite get there. Defense skill, 18. Oh. Um. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Really, the only risk we're taking is good old-fashioned morale risk, which is uh, what does happen at this stage of the game. Oh. Pathetic. Ah, that's woeful. Woeful. How hurt are you? Oh! Maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just mind my business. Kill 7 to 18. I'm worried that that's going to hurt. We've got these two stacks to come. Just get out of the way with your flamethrower. I'm just worried about fire breathing. Kills 19. I love that the automatons do an exact amount of damage. Permanently blessed. Don't know if I love that. Tell you what we could do for fun. We could absorb this corpse. Look, see the cat see that little logo changes? Well you can't see behind my Check that out. Isn't that cool? I think as well, if there's an enemy next door to the square, you can attack from that square. And it will devour first and then attack if I've read the rules rightly. What my guy's doing. So I'm going to left click on here and see what happens. Let's have a look. He dives up and. Oh! Did you see that animation? Terrifying! Now, what has that done? It doesn't outwardly show you exactly what it's done. His attack skill remains the same. Ah! Now, you can see down the bottom attack count 2. I think that means it's the same as a Crusader. So he still will retaliate, which is unacceptable. I am just going to end the fight here. But I think that's what's, what would happen, is if we did attack with the OKs, um, that's what they would do. They've earned themselves an extra attack. Um, as I say, I think, they th I think you can set it up in a way that gives you... Uh, Gives you the ability to devour the corpse and then attack. Pretty nice. Luck. I already deal maximum damage with the automaton. I kind of feel like luck isn't really switched on. The halflings have positive luck anyway. So I'm just going to take archery even though... You know, I'm not really doing anything with the archery. Okay, so that's a nice pickup. Extra 5k there. Really, really useful. Imp cage is going to go down the same way. But is it me or is it... This girl, who's going to do it? I'll get ready to do it. Which 
Marcus is exhausted. That's good. That's in line with my tension. And hmm. she does want the bone dragon. Does she want the L? Does she want these guys? They're not going to be spread into seven, right? And a horde actually isn't that bad. 50 to 99, right? Smash past these. Yes, and I'll just take the freebie. No, I won't. How do I lose one? Like, how does that maths work? You guys are so profoundly... Dead. Ooh. So I killed quite a few on the crack back. Their attack is four to my defense twenty. I'm not worried. I, I'm not. I'm not worried. Yeah. Right. Do your worst. But, yeah, a horde of Grand Elves isn't going to kill an automaton in a stack of 12. He said. Got the tactics, don't need to worry. Yeah, get this 80. I'm going to be flying. Borrowing against, uh... Oh my word. Come on, boys, how much dam is this? About half. So I had planned to just kill them with this stack and then do this with this stack. The only thing I can do is not attack. Okay, that's actually not a bad bad shout. Stand here and then that protects. How far can you walk? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can easily still get there. Now, what can I do? Plan A. I want to just stand here. If I just stand here with some stone skin for fire, your shield's better, right? Armageddon is letting them shoot. Armageddon is. Uh, right, do your worst. 19 damage. Ooh, that did hurt. Must say that did hurt. Shoot them. I get to shoot. You don't. Now, uh, I don't think I do want to involve the armadillos. I can afford to do this. Okay, next turn, I can just come and kill massive amounts of them here. Yeah. Okay, we got away with it. There they are actually stepping up to the plate and doing something. You have to wait. You just get out of there. You come and finish them off. Man. Tell you what. Tell you what. I'm expert tactics. So I think I'm going to try and make this a wisdomless. I'm, I'm more in it for the bless, right? I want to do expert bless. I don't need wisdom for that. I suppose prayer would be another thing, but with expert tactics, do I really need all of that, or is it just overkill? Is this the girl I want to open the box? She's level 6, I'm level 10, and I'm level 11. I don't want Sauron coming back through and stealing it from me. I don't think she's got the moves, though. Yes, yeah, she does. Maybe, just about. Okay, on that basis, I'll just take it. So she learns a, learns a bunch of air spells. Oh, woeful. Terrible price. I was making noises in the last campaign about the Pandora's boxes being a bit too good. Um, or I've said it in the past anyway, that sometimes it feels like, oh, you get a couple of Pandora's boxes early in the game and it's too good, but they've definitely nerfed them. I think we're all still heading south, though, right? 
we are still all continuing our journey south. We're leaving Agar to visit Derek's. Uh, am I seriously sending him down to do that? Just to find that out. She's going to run this way. I'm going to bring the army south with Clancy. I think I'll do this investigation first, though. What am I bringing you? She has a slot in her army. I mean, I'll get rid of the Bone Dragon probably after the horrible experience of negative morale. See what I mean about negative morale? Freezing in combat can completely ruin the combat. Whereas getting the extra attack when it's on the plus side is good, but it's not as good as the bad freeze as freezing is. It's not as good as freezing is bad. It's lopsided. Bad morale is more bad than good morale is good. I can't think of any better way to say it than that. It's still very confusing. Serpentarium. There it is, up on the hill. Oh, check it out! The rainbow dragon. He's only two grand. Okay, two per week is pretty miserly, isn't it? With the castle, shouldn't I get more than that? That's like Titans. That's like Titans and Archangels grow at that rate. Maybe that's because of the gantry. Fair enough, you might say. That's actually fair enough. Factory has two level 7 creatures, so this can't be too OP. You can't just get tons of them. I don't think that's worth my time to mess around with this week. How annoying will that be? Yeah, it's fine though. Just go do it. Okay. Happy turn. Sauron, what are you doing? You can't even fight the goblins? Like, that's pathetic. Alright, while I'm here and while I've got the army, I'm doing this... Uh, oh, I just clicked there without even thinking. Oh! We just found Orange's base, and it's available for us to just walk into. That's just a fort. Am I doing that? Royal Armour of Nyx sounds very good. Imagine if we got that. I'm going to step here, because I'd like to know... Oh, I was hoping it would reveal me. I think we just have to do this. Um, obviously, we might not get to keep the town. You have to punish uh, when your opponent leaves his town undefended. It might not even be his primary town. That's the thing. And it I mean, it probably isn't, right? It's a fort, so... It's just a town he's picked up. Oh, this is all that's here. Um, okay. If that's all that's there, you can picture what's going to happen. Right? The OKs are going to go underneath, kill the archers... Um, there's no arrow towers, so I'm just going to apply the battle result. I don't think it's going to be a particularly interesting fight. Stick your head in. Haste. Haste is actually going to be useful. And they haven't even built the tavern, but there is a fort here, which means you can do all these things. I think they've built the fort, so that's a massive investment they've put in there. We can exploit now. It's kind of cool. You could also build a tavern. In the old Horn of the Abyss, they changed it so that you couldn't get sprites at all without the Magic University, which they built? Oh my god! <laughs> wow, any hero can come here and learn any school they want. That's really good. Yeah, you got to pay two grand. Okay. Well, given that I forcibly learned a bunch of air magic. What did she learn? She learned... F yeah, she learned, learned a bunch of air spells. That she didn't get to keep because she didn't have the wisdom. Um, anyway. Okay, so this is inconclusive. I don't. So the old Horn of the Abyss had it that you couldn't get the sprites at all until you'd built the Magic Uni, which is five grand. So they've, they've built the fort and the Magic Uni, but they haven't built the town hall. They're five grand each, these things. Because the university's built, you can now get sprites. However, I heard a rumour that with 1.7 in the factory, they made the sprites more accessible again because the nerf was too big. 
basically made it too difficult to get sprites. In the vanilla game, the sprites are insane. They're just so, so good. Uh, and you can do unfair things with them, especially in the early game. Uh, but I do wax on about that in one of my tier list videos. Check out the channel, by the way, for more uh, Great Heroes 3 content. Um, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after these messages. Um... Orange is going to come back and they're going to be cross. I don't want to leave any of my factory troops here. I don't really want to leave the Bone Dragon either. Back. If they come back and recapture it, who cares? If it's still there on day one, I'll buy some annoying creatures to defend it, like maybe buy the Citadel, for example. For her to learn another school of magic. Um... Day five, day six. He's not going to make it back, is he? Day five. Maybe just do these two. There's a good chance he's not going to get back in time. <laughs> day five, day six. Get some. He'll get back if he if he ignores this one. He'll be alright. Get the windmill as well. It's probably on. I think this is okay. Right, she's coming back. Um, get yourself ready, mate, uh, because we're going to do, uh, we're going to do these jobs. She comes galloping through to here, probably about here, she gives the stuff, he's going to do both of these, give the army back to her, she's going to come flying down, no, actually I've got a whole third hero I can use for that. Okay, so I rarely play this way. I really do this sort of stacking thing where I have three viable fighting heroes all moving around together. You're a bit vulnerable with just one halfling, but who cares too much if you die? Not me, really. I have to decide whether we're going to hover around this region with him. Or not. Now, in terms of investment, it's day five. I bought the Serpentarium. That's too greedy, surely. Um, do I also want to invest in the Watchtower? I'm going to get the Watchtower eventually, and I'm going to get the Gantry eventually, so... So, so what, what else is competing for my attention? I could try to invest in this. I mean, this is a pretty cheap investment, right? I think we just do this. Get this town moving. Solium. It's weird, you know, like, my last two campaigns, Necropolis and Conflux. No, the one before that was Inferno, and the one before that was Conflux. It's interesting that we find ourselves uh, essentially in the same town. I might be wrong that there's no Necro, anyway. What are we doing here? I can just build it later. Like, I can build it on day seven. Right. Let's see what they do. What are you doing, Sauron? Are you just running for it now? You can't even beat the archers, so you're just completely bricking it. Okay, she pops through the portal. What was the plan again? We're going to give you the army. You're going to do this. You're going to come back and give it to Isra. Isra's in the way. Oh. out there doesn't quite get the job finished logistics people the dwarf guy doesn't know how to cast spells so that doesn't matter Halflings. Yep, yeah, okay. Clancy. Archery might be quite useful here, too. You're going to be safe here, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's not a problem. 100 imps, like it's, but you can see my army. 24 of these, 9 of these. You guys forgive me. I'm just going to take it. What is this? Is this golems, right? Steel golems. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're going to need to apply a little bit of uh, 
Can you come up and help me with these after I've done that? I think that's probably right, yeah. You could be in a spot of bother here. Kill! I think this is right. We want to use the automatons, we want to split up, right? And I'll see you at the end for a big repair. Kill three to eight here? Okay, well you need to move anyway. Three. Oh yeah, they've already retaliated. Okay. That's fine. This is also fine. This isn't very good. Ooh, cop that, you little buzzard. Uh, it's messy. It's because they're speedy. They've got speed six. Wait with them. Plan A with this was to box this guy in. To keep him out of uh, halfling range. I think my mistake was maybe bringing the halflings. Yeah, over to you. Come on, hit the automaton. Sod. Oh well, that's what they did. Do is die. Flamethrower. Didn't even didn't even see it. Hats off to the AI. Hats off. I can completely incinerated my own halflings. Well, that just sort of says it all, doesn't it? Oh my god. I can do the same to the armadillos here if I'm not careful. In fact, I can't attack them at all without arming my own team. Sorry. Okay, how about this? How does this work? Can I devour and then attack? So let me try... I thought I could devour and attack. Well, I don't need two attacks there, do I? What happens? Can I devour and then attack? Yeah, and I still get an extra turn. No, no, that was the end of my turn. Okay, okay, actually, I, I think I like that better. You can't do both. I thought I'd read that you can do both, but um, that's not actually true. Um, I'm still going to lose one. If I do this attack. I can kill these in line with the plan. Yeah, let's just kill them. We'll automaton these guys. This fight just went really, really badly. And that gives... So you've got to be careful, because if she stands there, someone else can stand here, attack her, and she blasts fire onto the automatons. That was really, really sloppy by me. Poor halflings. You guys probably sitting there watching it all happen, like, no! Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, yikes. That's, that's woeful. Yes, apply the battle result. <laughs> oh. Is ballistics good for this fellow? Okay, that's the prize, giants. Uh, well, next actually, I suppose that's useful. That's okay with her, right? With tactics, giants are pretty good with tactics. Um, bring me back what remains of of the army. Oh God. Um, These two guys are all that remain. I've got a stupid armadillo as well. So there's no point having one armadillo. I may as well just have this and the giants. Just do that. Okay. So I'll be undead. Um, you have this. I 
like Sam has a grievance with Clancy. What were you doing? Where's all the halflings? Um, well, we hit a bit of a snafu. A snafu. You call this a snafu? You fool. Hand him to freedom. Okay, he easily makes it home. That's good. I'll try for this, do I? Let's get back up here. You've already done this this week, right? Yeah. Oof. God. All right. Go and learn something. Pathfinding. Now, what's it going to be? Do we wait around for this bone dragon? Yeah, go find out. Just for interest, interest sake, what it does. Okay, shield. Isra is the one I want. Oh, hey, he can just run down this way with the arm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can just pop out here with it. Uh, or if you send someone up, like even Isra could right pop up here and just grab it. There's no sign of orange up here. So, I think this might be mine. This is a very low regret investment, right? But I'm tempted to go Town Hall. If we think it is ours, we should definitely go Town Hall. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build this Garden of Life. And then uh, I'm going to upgrade on day one if we get any. If we do uh, still have the town at that point. Uh, you can be here waiting for that. Clancy, you're the one who's going to go and receive the army. Okay. We're saving some money because we think we're going to want to spend it on... That's just her, that's just Sauron, yeah. In quite nice shape here. Right, let's go down and find out once and for all. Is there an Acropolis here? No! Oh, well, there still could be. Hang on. No, it is a tower town. Yes, and then accept. So I can conquer this tower. It is a tower town. I'm going to conquer it today. Ooh. Try to conquer it today? Does it matter? No, because I get the first turn, right? I can just do day one. I can attack it tomorrow. Ooh. Labyrinth. Bag of gold, gremlins, horn demons, a horde of horn demons. Yes, and... Oh! Look at that animation. You are dead. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, that's what we came for. That's what we uh, claim to be about. But for some reason, it's flung the these two way out of position. It tempted me into thinking Isra is going to be a thing. All right, loins, legs of legs of legion, get them back there. Um, plenty of money, but we're still not investing anything else further today in this town. I'm not getting any more dwellings. I'm not doing it, because there's too much uncertainty, right? There's just way too much uncertainty. I could go Citadel today. That's a decent investment, actually, Citadel. Um, man. 
I really thought we'd find a Necro here and this would be something else, but it clearly isn't. What's she doing? Is she coming back now, or... What did we decide? We decided we could invade them tomorrow? Uh, sandworms can go under the walls. It's either, I mean, it'll be the same fight tomorrow that it is today. So... So let's just have a bit of a look around. Do the fight tomorrow. Get some scouts while we're on the road. Good enough. It's fine. I had it in my head years ago that these used to have multiple exits. They used to have more than one portal would share different exits. Maybe it did, but anyway, every random map I've played in the last 10 years or so, they're always, what they say on this end, monolith two-way. I might have been wrong about it ever being a thing um, in the first place as well. Let's hedge against Year of Plague and buy one of these. Ooh, look at it! It's like something out of uh, <coughs> Far Eastern mythology. Speed 11. 25 to 45 is very Hydra. It's very much a Hydra. Health 160, but the speed 11, and then on top of that, if you're in trouble, you can skip your whole turn to be invulnerable, but you can't also attack on the same turn. Once they're upgraded, they get to do both. Okay. Um, yeah, if I end up upgrading the armadillos, I can do that tomorrow. So you stay put. You get ready to receive the army. Jabarkas gets ready to buy a bone dragon. Uh, you're going to make it to about here tomorrow. So, Israel, you can stay right where you are. Clancy is going to receive the army. And I am going to deliver the army to about here. Don't you think? It's all just feeling a bit too cake and eat it too ish to me though. Like, how has Orange not come back to punish? Uh, maybe we should have a look in the D, D Den of Thieves. Just get a sense. So we're tied for first on towns. We have the Ogre Club giving us the big attack, but everyone's pretty mediocre. Look at this. Every single faction has kind of mediocre. We're ahead of the curve. I have to say we are ahead of where I thought we would be at this time, where we usually are at this point. At the end of month one, we're usually the like, second worst faction. Seems like it's very even, Stephen, right across the map. Which I'm surprised to see. Tan is exhausted this area. Okay. We're just going to leave it there for the day. Bring on next week. Sauron doesn't know what to do with their life. Hobgoblins are going to be everywhere now. Alright, should we do the job, come down and kill the fact, kill this here? I think maybe the answer is no, because we want the soldiers. We certainly want the sandworms um, and the coatals. Stack of three now. Okays. I don't have the heart to buy the halflings because I'm just too incompetent to um, for their lives to be. <clears throat> It'd be better to leave them here as garrison defenders, kind of thing. Like it's it's fine, right? Don't care about armadillos enough. This is fine. Oh, that is where, as far as I was going to make it yesterday. It's interesting. Um, no. Look at him smashing it down the road. Absolutely fanging it. Clancy! Swap armies. Wait, don't you? 
Clancy comes running back down. Yep. She's here. Oh, look at that! When a plan comes together, baby. Um, this is just going to be this, and she's going to smash through here and go link up with the complex. So, yeah, let's just do this. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, this is looking good now. Now she's looking pretty good. Day one advantage goes to the player. Okay, they have not purchased this week's troops yet. And this is just part of the single player experience. It's one of the advantages that the player does have, is that you always have that day up your sleeve. You get to reinforce and buy your stuff uh, before them. So it is an arrow tower. Um, we are going to be taking hits. I can try to get the fight over with more quickly by... Hmm, I don't think Remove Obstacle is going to get me over there. Uh, I've got a decent magic arrow. That's about all I can do to help. don't know Earthquake or any other stuff like that. Maybe Stone Skinning something. Yes, and I'll gladly take the free... Clancy will need to come down here. Where did Sauron end up? I can trap her in there, that's quite nice. I think we just have to get this done, don't we, first? So I might lose some sandworms here, but... Because the arrow tower, I think, would be too stupid. It might The arrow tower might go for the engineers, though, as well, which is also quite bad. Um... See, this is where ballistics would be nice. I'm sorry, it would. Uh... Right, that kills two. I can kill twelve of these. That's the biggest stack. I think that's what I want to do. Bearing under the walls, very, very evil. Or I can lightning bolt, but that won't kill. Oh god. Right, yeah, we've got to get these stacks dead. Um, so that's a stack dead. And these guys really have no choice but to hit the defend button and just hope for the best. That's a very nice favour you've done me, thank you. Never losing one. It's hilarious. That's hilarious. Oh, I didn't actually kill the whole stack. That's good. That I can use. What are they? Nagas? Oh, I could do the invulnerability thing. Nagas come down. They don't deal enough. I do invulnerability. On her turn, I repair. And then it cycles back to... On her turn... Sorry, on her turn, she walks around here and attacks the worms and gets retaliated against and dies. And if she doesn't, I'll... Yeah, I'm going to do that. So let's go Let's go skip a turn. Oh, look at them! Look at it meditating! The colours, like, coming out, like the pulsing colours flowing down the feathers. How wicked cool is that? I ask you. So my plan is, I'm waiting this turn, and then the automatons are getting repaired, then the Nagas either come and kill me, or if they don't, I kill them. I never thought of... I should have dangled these guys out the front, so that I could repair them. Like this. Can't touch me, I'm invulnerable. And then I don't retaliate because they're Nagas, but now I kill them anyway. That's a price we paid there. Is there a mage guild in here? There is. Welcome to Cloudfire. Oh, I never switched this off. Spell research. Um... What does that mean? All right. Well, actually, I do want less. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna let myself learn that. Right. 
in, it looks like it's a work in progress. I, I don't hate this idea of swapping spells out of the mage guilds. I just don't think it's necessary. I do love the art. Look at that. So you can see it in the crystal ball there. It's been researched kind of thing. Very, very cool. Um, but I don't really mm, intend to use it much. I think it's something probably the AI. Well, then again, the AI was doing it, wasn't it? So I'm saying that it's an advantage to the player, but the AI is perfectly capable of learning it too. Did we decide she wants to go in there? Is the Wall of Knowledge built? It is not built. Lookout Tower could be good, though, couldn't it? No, it won't be quite as bad this time, really. Where are we? We don't have the Cloud Temple up yet. The Wall of Knowledge today. Yes, let's do the Wall of Knowledge today. Invest in her education. And do I want to try to flying out of here and trap her? Yeah. Yes, and yes, free experience. By the way, yeah, see the creatures are available. That, that's the thing. So I get to buy them. It's sort of day one abuse. I had thought, actually, that it would be interesting to do a campaign where I'm not allowed to buy creatures on day one. Road down here. So there's nothing for free or guaranteed in this world. We're going to want to put some stodge behind the walls. And these guys are great for that. To just sit there in case uh, Tan comes back. Right, Jabarkas, do what you were put on this earth to do. Just run mindlessly around, helping other people achieve greatness. Mm, you didn't get very far there, pal, did you? Yeah. Alright, let's do that. These guys are idiots. Um, let's get them out of the way. This is all very good from a necromancy perspective, obviously. No, I just don't think it's going to be necessary. Right, so how sick are you? Hardly. Hardly sick at all. Let them just swarm the bone dragon, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah, I'm not going to come anywhere near death, so it's fine. Um, There's an important dynamic of the game with tier 7 creatures. So we paid 5 engineers to get this one bone dragon, right? Because of the way that the game works, the way damage gets stacked on, that one bone dragon can take 150 points of punishment before there are any consequences whatsoever. And being able to leverage and exploit that is really what the reward is for um, ramping into tier 7. It's the HP, more than anything else, more than the damage they deal, or any of their other cool special abilities, like resurrection or, you know, dragon breath. It's the HP. It's just the stodgy, strong HP where just killing even one is such a massive headache. And you can end the fight with no profit at all if uh, you've been up against one and you end up losing. You don't get to walk away saying, oh, well, at least I killed a big pile of his enemies. Like, no, you didn't kill any. You dealt 200 damage to one stack that doesn't care. It just gets it all back for free as soon as the fight's over. Jabarkas. My mate. Okay, we can barely get there anyway. Jeez. I'll stand here. There is a question. Could I do that fight? With three bone dragons? It's the wrong kind of enemy to be going up against. Um, I think they have resistances to some of these things as well. Can't be hypnotized. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't know, but amount of money, amount of moves. So let's end the turn. She gets the gems and then just runs out of ideas. Jab. Help me out here, son. It's only one bone dragon. If he gets caught and dies with one halfling, I'm not that sad, right? I'm a bit sad, but I'm not going to play around it. I don't know if I want to do this fight. Gale yeah, shield, it could. I might be completely wrong. I, I, I could get it. 
later. Or I could get it with um, Ice Elementals and Lightning Elementals, for the benefit of them. There's another library, good god. Lots of kings, oh man. Sam would have been amazing against them. Uh, I want to get scouts off. I could teach Isra. What do you want to learn? Do you want to learn slow? Uh, earth magic, I mean? I could I could go and buy her a, uh, a school of magic or two. I mean, I want these skeletons. Oh, it's just free. Meat for the grinder. Taking candy from a baby. Yeah, they're gonna murder the skulls, and she's just the wrong hero for that fight, sadly. They're in the wrong place. Um, but yeah, I'm willing to invest. I'm making enough money. I can afford to do this. That's interesting, right? That's a grand. Let's just do this. Nah. Ice Bolt's not bad. She already knows Lightning Bolt, though. It's worth a go. Right. You are going to be the tower guy? Makes sense. Makes sense for him to do it. So, if we stop on the way, um, pick up a spell book finally. Ugh. Didn't learn much, did you? What'd you learn? Oh, well. I could build this. Um, might get something useful. I think I'm probably going to do that. Yep. Okay, so we need a grand. Go to the marketplace here. What'd you get? Yeah, okay, well, we've got something here. We weakness could be quite good against them. Or not. Uh, no money left. So, Galabon. So, that one worked. They're too far away. Come closer and cast it again. There's only ten. I can't beat 67 of them. Not without taking massive losses. That's good, because I'm sick of freeing prisoners, you know? Like, that's all I do with my life, is free prisoners. Alright, swap -a -roo. Go get that task done, man, with my blessing. Good luck. Godspeed. I will return to... Well, no, your job's actually to do this. Yeah, just get that done. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, cool. End turn. Sauron grows a brain, decides to... Excuse me? Good. Hiding down here. Let's go ahead and gallop on past, though. So, Isra gets to learn the stuff that's in here. Do we want to do this? What could I learn? I'm never going to learn Animate Dead. Mm, what are these three spells? And while I'm here, do I want to learn a law of magic? That's a very good, good question, actually. Should Isra learn a law? Well, she might get Animate Dead eventually. So we should maybe go for Earth. Just so she knows it. 
Um, I kind of feel like actually buffing the skellies is what I want to do with the necromancy, which earth doesn't help. Whereas water, I can't bless them. Bloodlust, I can shield and stone skin them though, that's pretty nice, I know how to do that now. Alright, let's set her up so that she can be. She can be an expert earth mage. There you go, it's done. She goes to the university, she learns earth magic. Very, very good. Uh, I'm going to let these build up here because they're going to need to get upgraded to uh, lightning and ice elementals. A horde of dragonflies is doable. Looks like they're guarding something that's just okay. Um, eager to get back. It's just available? Firebirds? Okay. Never mind. Didn't do things in the right order for that to happen. Alright, this is the big fight we were building up to. Before we do that, will Sam have a look down here? Stick your head up through here for me. Here's the rest of Tan's stuff. I think I'm happy for her to get the scouts off, if it's a stronghold, that it will last. It'll stick. There's nothing like knowing where they are. So even if she gets killed, and by, by killed I mean, you know what I mean, like I have to flee from combat, revealing that chunk of map is going to be really, really valuable. Um, do this. Do you have time this time to get this? Waste some time getting that. That's fine. Clancy, I've been... Ugh. Ten Dread Knights here. I've got no tactics this time. We're in tight formation. Good luck, mate. He basically has no useful spells. Dread Knights pause, I pause, you pause. Very careful to avoid um, murdering our allies. Okay, well that's something. I can feel like, I hope that if I can There's one here. Damn, damn, damn. So I think I want to move here and body block, because you can't go around the top. Yeah. Yeah, and I'd love you to hit the automatons, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, this works out beautifully actually. It's really, really good. Automatons, yes. That's okay, no problem. Uh, wait. Come do this. We lose a worm. It's okay. Library of Enlightenment. Caretaker admits me into the Library of Enlightenment. It's not me, it's him. You're able to learn much in the short time you spend here. Well, he is. What's his name again? Clancy. Alright, that's a, that's, a, that's a pretty big step up, to be fair. What were we doing? We were going to go kill the wyverns, right? That's what we're really here to do. Um...
That would be ridiculous. L5-9? Um... My highest on me today, he gallops to here. I need more, I need more. I do need people. I need, I need to find good people. Mm. Welcome to the team, Sophie. He was trapped in a genie bottle for over a millennium. He was so grateful to the human who finally released him that he accidentally swore to serve the man for eternity. As fate would have it, that man is Gavin Magnus, the immortal ruler of the Bracada Highlands, and here he is serving us with his exceptional magical abilities. Um, now... How do we feel about obsidian gargoyles? I wonder if we were to get them. I can't really afford to. I'm flying up here, I've got some gargoyles. Yeah. Yeah, 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 let's do that. Buy some normal gargoyles, stone ones. Leave these at home. These guys are solid, they're useful. One day I will return to the library of enlightenment medicine. Um, one chain lightning is enough to kill Sauron. This is how good Solmir is, man. Like straight out of the gate, he's already incredible. Okay. Oh. Oh. Really. Lots of wyverns are terrified by my forces? That feels too easy. I'm saying yes. Monarchs! Damn it. I was gonna curse them, I didn't realise they could actually get all the way over there. <sighs> oh man, that hurt. Waiting with these. Yeah, look at that. Kill seven. I'm happy. Slumping in my chair here. Three sandworms is pretty bad. Oh, that hurt too. Don't have a good square to attack from with the fire breathing, so I'll do this. Yes, apply the battle results. I'll own it. Um, nah, not wisdom. She can come steal that off me, could she? That'd be hilarious. Ugh, depression. Where are you going? Do I wish to retreat? Oh, I am getting hit. Um, no. Apply a battle result. No. Okay, Iona is the hero they busted out of jail, and she is level one. So that's good. I have a whole pile of these. To fling at you. Who's going to get tired first? It helped quite a lot then. Alright, maybe you are going to win it. Well, then again.
Is there a thing where, um, I mean, I'm going to flee, I guess, but I think there's a thing where I could, I could give these guys the endless runaround and eventually it runs out of turns, but I think it might be a hundred turns or something. So I won't subject you guys to all that. I'll just, uh, I'll just flee here. Flees from battle, but I killed his army. Or her, I am. Oh, hello, who are you? Yeah, I think we have to try that. No. Quite why. This is all fine, I'm just gonna get these things. A horde of vampire lords, yeah. Go around here and do this. I think so, yeah. Solmia is going to do some satellite work. Um... Boris? Yes, and yes. There we go. thing I could do is come and try and kill her with chain lightning to give me the line. Might come and do that. I'll come and do this fight now. Even though I don't anticipate I'll be very good at it. Something about Clancy. No. Oh, there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, that's just... Yes, there is. I could have thought about it. I could have had her out on the edges to guard against Silver Pegasi. Thought about it a bit hard. Wait on. Stay where you are and kill 19 of these. Nice. Not nice. Let's see. Do nothing. Yep, nice. Oh, terrible! Oh, oh that is woeful! Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm coming off the boil. I was making good decisions earlier. That, that's an atrocious result. That's got to be my worst result in the last couple of campaigns of a fight. Like, 90 Pegasi? 
and I'm giving up. Look how much I gave up there. That's just shocking. With 15 and 10 over them, I have to accept. It's uh, That's so disappointing. Like, I'm really salty. Like, that's awful. What a terrible outcome. Six of my best. And then two of these, they're going sort of subcritical now as well. Like, they're getting too small. He was useless, Clancy. Even after you went to the library and everything. Like, I cannot believe that result. And my own stupidity for putting engineers not having loose formation with them out at the edge. Okay, you might say that's on me. I mean, it's all on me. This guy does not go well with this army, compared to the Tactics girl. Having said that, the Tactics wouldn't save me against the... Well, yes, they would, right? Because with the Tactics, I walk over with movement 10 and kill the Pegasi. The Automatons. Yeah, I don't know. Salt. Salt is real in this one. What do I do against this? It comes running up here. What am I going to do? I have defenders. She won't take the town. Do I care enough about that hero? Likewise here, like it's too... Maybe it's the right answer to come back down. Yeah. And to actually try to give them a, a way out. What was all this? You were just hanging out here. Are you still here? Barkus, that's insane, man, what you found there. That's... Another portal! Alright. Portals, portals everywhere. Oh, Solmir would like that. Alright, we're starting to form a bit of a Plan, aren't we? Tholmia with the Orb of the Firmament. Mm. Investments? Town Hall? Are we confident enough in this now? There's the bridge over. This is already a city hall and castle. It's a much, much more sophisticated town. Oh, did I ever get the tower, and do I need the tower? Oh, I should have done that instead of wasting her move there. Ah, ball! Going off the boil here. I'm losing. That's still worth doing. What is all this? Oh, yeah, okay, so it is a cloud temple. Guarded by nothing. Okay, well, I want that Cloud Temple, and I want to build one in here as well, before the end of the week. And I want Solmir to have the Orb of the Firmament. And I've got so many viable people who want to be heroes now. I still have to hire back Thingy before the end of... Um... So I think a good, a good plan could be to hire her and um, come galloping down here with the Armadillos. What are 29 armadillos and 29 halflings going to do? We could challenge with the tactics, right? We could do that. Uh, maybe buy some other stuff as well. What's in here for her now with the water magic? Still just frustrating. And uh, she has no spell points. Does she come back with full spell points, I wonder? I'm hiring her here. Okay. What do you have for spell points? Nothing. Yeah, 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 okay. So you could stay the night here, right? We could upgrade the branch. And then they turn into bellwether armadillos. 
stay the night and um, then you can come and we can squeeze this hero out especially if she gallops up if she gallops stupidly up into here we could sting her yeah that's not a bad move okay that's a bit better oh my brain's coming back to me here's red oh <gasps> red strong enough to kill the demons but not strong enough to kill me or doesn't want to kill me Okay, tons, tons, tons. Now we're talking. Who are we up against here? Now we're talking. Look at that. That's an army. Right? So you reach a certain point where it's like, surely I just can't keep massively expanding with no major forces of my own. It's like, yeah, no, you can't. You're going to get your comeuppance. So we want to defend against that. We want to get ready to jump behind the tower walls against that. Maybe do this. You meet an old armorer who claims he owes you a favor. Taking him up on it, he pieces together some dragon scales, forming a well-fashioned breastplate. Dragon scale armor, was it worth half my army? Actually, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, it's better than I thought. Plus four to both attack and defense, that's quite nice. Go ahead and while I bother. Go ahead and do all that. Great. We're a little bit late getting everything out of the front door on day one, but who cares? And we have the armadillos, which aren't useless. Thirty halflings, will they just die? Come on, Sam. Hmm, interesting fight, okay. Let's see if we can do better. kill things, I think, right? Yeah, I just killed five of these straight away. Look at them pacing over. And then... Rip. Ooh, Italian shooters. Yeah. Oh, one perishes. Did you not know I am stodgy as hell? Do I need magic arrow? I don't need it, but I'm just going to do it. Kill you. I will just walk through your battle lines, destroying it. So I get to kill Gerd now? I want to make sure I kill Gerd just in case he does have anything. Alright, so I've got two people left. What happens here? Let's remove this. Oh, I thought I could remove this chasm. Right, I have movement 7. Can you believe these armadillos are faster than wolf riders? How bad are these? Very bad. What do I need here? 66? Oh! <laughs> Still alive. Come on down. Do you have morale, maybe? Goes down. Them. I think uh, that's the end of it, right? Yeah. Ooh. 
Oh, I never noticed how they move before. They don't move like that every time, do they? Do they roll around? Is it only when they're hasted? Have they programmed it so that they move that way when they're hasted? Or have I just not noticed how cool it is that they roll up in a ball and roll around? Anyway. Right, so I get whatever she was carrying, which is just this. Oh, I like leadership. I think I quite like leadership. You just can never be that unhappy taking logistics. Um, Agar stands back, aghast. Grateful to still be alive. Just get out of here, man. Get out of my sight. Come down and sort, all, sort your stuff out. Been there. Get me back to civilization. Yeah, come this way. Tell me the red hero. Fortress, call back. Okay, that's their best hero. So if he wants the conflux, it's his, right? There's no point. Um, is there a hero here or not? No. Just re-centralise with her. I think that's a pretty good use of his uh, life now, or his, uh, his life and times. Great, great, great. Can you get to it? Give it a fire. No, there's something huge guarding it. More automatons, by the looks. Okay. Okay, he's not interested in me at the moment. Blue is showing an interest in that part of the world. Everything's kind of everywhere. Everyone's everywhere. You guys are coming for vengeance. How far can you get? Can Clancy even get back? He can't. Ooh. He can, but it's... Alright, oh man. I have a bit left over. So if we wanted to make sure Solmia doesn't die, probably do this. Two eighty two. No, I won't go that far. I'll just what I'll do is I'll do the Okay, oh there you go, I've just wrecked it. So might be losing Solmia, but um, probably not. Probably not, it's probably okay. Um Uh, whoever you think deserves it. Alright, well, quite a lot of our campaigns have gone this way where we get behind the walls and... Yeah, I think that's right. Um, as and when he attacks me, but he probably won't attack me. Maybe I should have attacked him. Fine, man. Get some scouts. If you do nothing else... Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a blue guy. Yeah, come back this way. Blue has some action in this area. And then this connects through to us as well. So, Ithra could be... Uh, in a spot of bother here. She's going to have to do this stuff herself, but day seven's coming up anyway, so... Once you go, you might as well go and chase this uh, Sauron now. You're going to the Derek, that's fine. Get that done. Day six, day seven is bomb. And we miss out on the legs again? I just realised... I could sit in here. Go do that. Because you never seem to get this right, do you, with the legs? Okay, I don't think you can uh, take me, and I'm going to use the day to buy the Cloud Temple. I'm serious. I'm all in. I am all in. I'm even going to buy that giant. There you go. Got 10. 
I, he must come to the complex at some point. I think Blue's up in there doing that. Okay. Tan runs further north to escape. That's okay. You said think twice. That's not surprising. I now actually could trap you though, right? So I could leave the golems at home. I can trap you in this pocket. That's what we're going to do. Right, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, why don't we do that? You just get quite a lot of bang for your buck here with these little guys. Um, okay, that's fine. Take the club back, man. Um, I'm going to go slaughter him. Yeah, this is fine. Let's do this. Okay, there's no escape for you now. You, know, you can't escape me. Get the money, stay where you are. You get the legs back home. All making sense. It's clicking. Um, you could draw this guy away with Jabarkus, maybe? I thought to run for it, but it might be better to get his attention. Let's stay alive. Scouting is good. That's useful. Can't tell me that's not useful. Right, where'd she go? She went all the way up to here now? Uh, I might skip these ones and just get these ones. Oh, that music. Alright, go. Happy turn. You don't have any idea, good ideas. Blue is strong. Blue, blue feels good. Sauron looks like you're messing around. No, that might do. Oh, that might help a bit. Purple is... Oh man, purple is interested in the complex now. So we're very thinly so we can't defend everything. We go here, you know, first. Damn. Is that greedy? Do I miss out on killing him if I do that? You're dead. You are dead. It is week one. It is day one, though, so... Solmia can give you something. You know, I can easily... If you can stand here, then I can easily give you... Whatever you want. So if we want to make this... Go a bit smoother... Uh, do you want these? Yes, I do. And do you want these? Absolutely. Enforcements. Thank you, Solmir. I cannot hold a candle to you as a hero, but I am level 12. Clancy, you're dopey, mate. I haven't been impressed with you at all. You haven't done me a good job. I've given you all my resources. Now I want you to kill this guy without a lot of hoo-ha. Use your imagination, son. Get it done. Forty-nine of seventy. Yeah. What do you 
one game. Wow. So Deem is the good one, the one who knows Armageddon. I thought he was one of the bad ones. I think I think I was thinking of Darkstorm. 150 kills 11. Most of them were probably gargoyles. I didn't actually lose a Kotal. I feel like I did lose a giant. Okay, and he's got how many of them up his sleeve? Oh, look at my interference though, helping. That's good. Um, let's not move into short range. Everyone's waiting. Oh, I meant to curse. God. Oh, my actual... No, no, hang on. I'm cursing the orcs. It's okay. It's alright. Cursing the orcs. Still shoot them? Go for the Cyclops. We'll start working them over. 38 from the first ATAC. Good god. Oh, I'm going to lose most of my army. Oh, I don't know if this was a good decision to attack. I'm like having massive second thoughts. Meteor shower coming. Mm, that is what it is. I like. I, just, I can't play around everything. Well, that's nice of you. Thank you. I'll take that. Zero. No, didn't live. Okay. Oh god. This is uh, not good. If I put my guy here, uh, I can't fly here and do this, right? That would be great to just land there and go invulnerable. Right, this time we're cursing the Cyclops. Waiting on the Kotal. So we get in. Oh no, I've got two hexes of body. I could eat this. Could do that. Kill three to four of them. No, let's just kill him and deny the archery. Seems good. Okay, now we're talking. This is good. Stand here to do it. I think that's fine. That's handy. That's fine. Sure. Yeah. Not good enough. Now. Preemptive or hit here. Uh, let's preemptive these guys. The Cyclopses do get to shoot, but they get to shoot anyway. Cop that. That's a great attack. Well, alright. I can do this. Come here and do this. Oh. All right, good, fine. Kill one. Don't think I need to bother. Fly up here and finish him off. Bad luck. 
whatever, I don't care. Be able to destroy the tent. Yep, cool. Yeah, okay, is it gonna come up and hit the Cyclops? Um, let's keep cursing, it's working nicely for us. Actually, autonom automatons are gonna do that. These fellows are going to smash these. Torn between that and the Corpse Devourer. That's a nice attack. Now, do you have one? No, blind! Okay. Why would you blind them? Oh, five giants do damage. Bad luck on the crack back. Um. Okay, but I need. I'll kill him, but I'm worried that I can't repair him. Do I... Well, okay, we're having another round. Oh, now I've made it too hard for you to get. No, you can't get around. Um. You can work your way through, yeah. I have one bad luck, and you can see the impact that that has, man. Do it. Kill five of these. And then on the giant's turn, I unblind my ladies. No, it's not necessary. Get in there and do the repair. Only three. There she runs. Gremlins and gargoyles weren't what I would call core. I don't think it's a terrible outcome. Losing the codals, it's not too bad. We didn't invest too much. We spent 10 grand on the dwelling, 6 grand on the guys. We've nearly run out of sandworms. Giants are going to be a bit uh, more tenable as a snowball, I think, for us. Expert water gives... Uh, this guy knows Ice Bolt. Is he, the, is he the knowledge guy? No, he's not. Yeah, yeah. Don't think we really need basic water magic, do we? Take the archery again. Now it is day one, there will be another giant sitting here. We're going to want to buy him and then go finish Tan off, or take Tan's main town. Um, and then we want the, to be able to quickly come back and defend against blue or red. So there's quite a lot going on here. Uh, right, Sauron ran away to here might be worth killing her now how many moves will I have left none okay so I can't get the bone dragon I'm going to go do this first that's fine though okay go do that battlefield casualties none do we want to fight this fight? I mean, the Bone Dragon is just going to kill everything. Yeah, let's fight it in case we can get her to um, capitulate. Might be able to sting her with a magic arrow. I don't know. Like, I feel like I don't want them to run away. Mm. 
Wait. Okay, so what I'm saying now is Bone Dragons are going to act. Need a bit more damage than 50. What else can you do for me? 90? Um, and then Saurong's dead, dead. She didn't have anything anyway, okay. Alright. Before we finish that off down there, we want to, yeah, we want to finish this uh, work in the north. Um, I'm going to gallop out to here. I don't know what you're going to use me for yet, but maybe something. Sam back at the factory. Now, what's she buying? We're kind of invested in these armadillos now, aren't we? <laughs> the automatons are still a very viable stack. The engineers feel like it's maybe the Kotals we want to let go and just not really invest much more in. So that's where I'm going to wait for you. Might get as far as there. Oh, and I have the legs, but that's okay. Take them. So you're gonna go do, do. Okay. What? Ah. Right. See if I can do better. I can actually walk him to here and offer him as a sacrifice. This is the way to do it. That wastes his attack. Yeah, perfect. Oh man, well if I'd killed him, that would have been good, wouldn't it? Paul goes, ladies and gentlemen, for all of your Heroes of Might and Magic 3 ninja moves. Sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I wonder. Do I actually deserve to have a YouTube channel? Am I just really an imposter who claims to be an enthusiast of the game, but doesn't actually know what he's doing? Yeah, yeah, sorcery, no way. Yes, after all that. Okay, upstairs to kill Tan? Can't be bothered with that. Yep, that's what we're going to do next. Jabarkas, keep exploring, my man. What are these? Look at that. Crimson Codals. Leaving them to it just for the meantime with my one halfling. Come and be an absolute nuisance. God bless him. End it there. In fact, I'm going to save it there. I'll see you guys in a wee bit. And we're back the next day. Welcome back, everybody. I want to start by apologising to anyone who noticed my that I was constantly touching my face for the first couple of hours. I started doing the edits for the first couple of weeks, and I've noticed that in a couple of the fights, I'm just absently touching my face all the time. It's really annoying to me. And here, I'm doing it right now, see? So I'm going to make a conscious effort. You're not going to see this hand. <laughs> that sounds dodgy. <laughs> Uh, you're not going to see this hand, but I can assure you all it will be doing is, you know, holding my teacup and that kind of thing. Um, all right, that's enough about my hand. Um, where were we up to? We were up to a point where uh, Clancy was going to go upstairs and murder Tan, who has a stronghold up here that we know must exist. It must be almost exactly right here. Okay, to do that though. He is going to be using this army, which is a bit tired looking. The giants are nice, but everything else is a bit tired. Like the sandworm stack is not good on eight. We lost the Kotals down to one. Um, and yeah, the other stuff's all looking a bit tired. I think we want to freshen him up with the new troops we have in uh, New Dolair. Uh, and that's going to be brought down to him by Agar. Passing on to Sam. And Sam's going to come galloping down here. We also have these cool 
uh, fast armadillos, which are expensive though. So they're good, but they'll chew up all of our gold if we waste all our gold on them. So let's see who we've got on offer uh, in the tavern. Castles constructed construct Colossus, that's cool. Jury is a level one mercenary, and look at Jury. Look at that artwork. What I can't, I'm not sure if Jury is male or female. Could be, could be female. Look at that artwork, like something out of Phantom of the Opera, or um, I'm actually thinking maybe it's uh, like Seven of Nine. Uh, like you know, um, let me use my hand here. Like, uh, what, what is that? What is that called? Like a um, prosthetic piece of plate for 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 the skull. So we've either got Jury. Jury's a mercenary with an okay army. Armorer is pretty good. We could instead take Serena, and she's Eagle Eye, which is terrible, but she does have a good relevant army, and we are saving up golems. And she's got the spell book and the three knowledge. So this is a classic example of what I mean. This army is too good. This makes her too good as a as a hire compared to Jury. It does, Eagle Eye doesn't matter, right? Because she's just offering so much. Like she, she'll have whatever's in the Mage Guild here. Yeah. So Lightning Bolt, Ice Bolt. But I think for flavor's sake, I'm going to go for Jury. Um. In a, in a vacuum, I'd I'd take Serena, but I want to take Jury and find out about him. Okay, Jury, welcome to the team. Immediately gains one knowledge. Look at that artwork, man. That's just so good. All right, Jury, what's the story? Jury spent the longest time in search for a magician who would not just promise to, but actually eliminate the repercussions of wounds she had sustained. Apologies, uh, she is a lady. She had sustained in dozens of clashes. One excellent blacksmith was able to forge a surgical plate to replace the part of her skull caved in by a wyvern's tail. And the mercenary now values fine armor far more than any magical malarkey. So fun and well written. What is social? Social must mean related to the skull or, or cranium. I'm learning all these words and definitions. Like I learned what an adobe is. I love this. Amazing. Amazing character. Cool hero. Interesting. Flavorful. Fun. In a word. Uh, now, jury, I do want you to... Get ready to receive the army. You're going to come flying down here. Probably get to about there. Solmi's going to do the rest. Park you about here? Do you need a spell book? I think we'll buy it. We'll buy Jury a spell book. Even though probably there will be repercussions tomorrow. I don't think we're going to have enough money to buy everything in the factory, but we'll find out. Okay. A big part of... Um, our success from here on will depend on whether blue and red <laughs> give us a break I was gonna say <laughs> uh, sometimes I think the game is um, teasing me so weirdly jury is not dead blue ran out of moves oh that's brilliant that is perfect however can I get the army up there? It's all going to depend on whether Sam... How many moves will she have left? Not enough. Oh, wow. Okay. So the other thing I could do is hire Serena and upgrade all of these two armor golems. And that's pretty nice. I could also get the Nagas. I could do that. Okay, that's the first thing we're doing. We're hiring Serena. Here she is. She starts with these slow guys, so I don't think... Okay, she's got to get to there. Here. 532 will remain. Oh, man. We could go for Iron Golems. Buy the rest of these guys. And turn them into Iron Golems which are much, much better than I rated them in the Creatures tier list video. I gave them a C+. They're more important than that, They're, especially because of the Mage Tower, even though the whole thing with Mages is not as bad anymore. The other option would be... Uh, we could go for the Nagas here, but they're very expensive, and the Pavilion upgrading is just out of our reach financially. 
I think iron golems are a solid investment. I hate the genies, especially 12. I think we've got enough money to just about do all this today, and it's not an investment I'm sad to make anyway. Only 1100. And uh, that's a really solid stack of units right there. 34 iron golems is, is the business. Now, he doesn't want to go too far out of the way. Solmir has plenty of moves. Come to here. So Solmir grabs the army. I can actually give her the trident. And curse, in case she doesn't know it. Cure. Interference probably won't matter, but go ahead and take it. Take this incredible thing as well. Plus four to everything. And you can keep that and recover the spells. Okay. Happy with this? Yes. Okay, so Solmir gallops north urgently to our new hire, Serena. Let's find out about Serena. The first time she cast a spell, she nearly killed herself. <laughs> Off to a great start, aren't we? She channeled so much magical energy into the spell that a wizard in a neighbouring town felt it. He quickly sought her out, bringing her to the wizard's guild so that she could learn to control her powers. Okay. And then she chose to go into the speciality of Eagle Eye, thereby completely wasting her talent altogether. Right. I want all these. Do I want the Kotal? Or should we bank him? Well, I don't have enough slots anyway, so let's keep the Kotal. Take all the artifacts. Is that foolish? Or is it just going to die? I'm worried it's just going to die. Or it's just a one-off. Could be quite a useful thing to have for a runner hero to have a single Kotal, just to be super fast on the adventure map. Might be better. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. All right, Serena, what can you do for us? Can you kill this girl, Oris? Just looking at the lineup, the Beholders are in the top. I think that's the side I want to pressure. So I'm going to flip this over a little bit. And there's going to be more pressure coming down on the Beholders as a result of that. I'll let the Rocks, Minotaurs and Wyverns find their way to us instead of chasing them. Let's try it like that. In terms of spells... Yeah, she can do some useful things. Let's go, Serena, straight into it. Hmm, tough fight. Okay, what can we do? Oris mercifully has 10 spell points, but she does have 9 attack. 8 cyclops cyclopses. So this could be quite a deep and interesting combat here. I feel like Curse is going to do good work with the... Um, automatons. So let's get him cursed. You wait. If you guys want to attack me, you can. Might. Yeah, I might leave the Minotaurs out of it. And you. Yeah. Okay. And the Wyverns. I hope. Fine with this. And the Wyverns, just about. Uh, right, I'm going to wait with these. Giants? Do you have positive morale, fellas? No, neutral. Um, is there any reason to go yet? Or should I wait? I think I'm still waiting. Okay, it'd be great if I could lure these guys out um, to here. Ooh, did you see the way that dissipated the electricity? That's new, is it? Whoa! Crikey! What happened to you? You got blessed. So Oris undid my curse, and uh, and then some. I think now is a good time to repair. Just get that done. Yeah.
Come back to me, boys. Giant. Now, the giant has seven, and you've got six. I don't really want to fight behemoths with my giant, though. But I might not have a choice. I'm not too worried about that. She can go around the long way, actually, if she has to. So yeah, I'm just going to move to here. And then the sandworms are going to kill a couple of these. I think that's probably worthwhile. And we're both going to go and hit the cyclopses after that. Oof. Okay. Okay, I did lose one on the crackback, actually. That's quite bad. Maybe I'll just stay here and do this. And yeah, we want to wait and see what they do. Well, actually, if the Minotaurs are dead, that's really, really good for me. Yeah, let's try and kill them. Okay, that's done. Now I was thinking Cyclops. Um, to block the Cyclops' attack. Uh, I just really don't want her to haste. That's my only concern. Let's hit the Cyclopses, because that's got such a big upside of stopping their ranged attack. It is just Magic Arrow. That's not good enough. Now I have this. Which is just a Lish. Should I be blessed? Maybe I could be blessed. How much damn will I do? 200 odd at uh, maximum bless. Um, let's do that first. Maybe the giants need to walk down here. Oh man, how many did I lose? Seven? How good are ogres? It's not fair. Uh, Oris can't stop me cursing now. Um, this just kills three outright. Oh, okay, well, I just didn't do the maths right. Or I can kill five to eight. Um... Let's just kill them. Oh, that's value. That is value. Alright. Do I waste uh, the gargoyles in order to make this hit here? Uh, I'm only going to kill two with the iron golems. Could ice bolt. I'm not killing enough. Oh dear. Losing too many engineers here. Um, get central. Attacks, has that been buffed? 13 attack skill? I lose all my engineers? Ah, oh, that really stinks. How many have I lost? I've lost like 25 of them. Eight, eight normal ogres, how strong. Salt. Salt and pepper. 25 engineers. Oh, now you learn bless. Oh, wait. Oh, someone. Through eagle eyed observation, Serena's able to learn. Eagle eye. Eagle eye, people. Greatest secondary skill in the game. Ah. Oh, that, I think. This can't be true, right? But I'm about to say it anyway. I think it's the first time. I think this is my first Eagle Eye trigger. I, I don't, I probably, it must, I must have triggered some point in my playing history. 
through eagle eyed observation, I actually learned a spell. I learned something. And I'm going to be a scholar because then I can teach blessed to other people. I'm a wizardy type person, but I've just blasted 25 of your best engineers. Right. Is that critical? Can the stack recover? We get back up to 34 now. 34 engineers can repair about 22 automatons. So now we've dropped below. Ratio doesn't work anymore. And the fun is effectively over. These boys aren't getting healed to full anymore. Okay, because I have 38 of these, but only 30 of something of these. Which, is, which just makes me sad. I can't believe, I cannot believe how good the ogres were, man. How strong. Yeah, so there's some salt, if I'm honest. There's some salt coming out of the, uh... Okay, well, plan A was give him everything. Which we now can do. If she can get out of the way, which she can. Alright, well, I think we stick to the plan. Hey, Gar, it starts with you, mate. Dear right here. Right, what am I buying? These are just... Oh, no, hang on, I can't. I haven't got any money. <laughs> I don't have the money to do the daisy chain that I even wanted to do, so... Oh, boy. Not a happy camper. Not happy. Deary, jury. Jury, Judy. Rotten. Rotten. Is everyone else busy? I'm kind of busy, sort of not really. What was Isra doing? Isra was chasing a hero. Kind of free. Everyone else is part of the production chain. Jabarkus, why don't we do Jabarkus? Whoa, a pack of phoenixes guarding something good looking. Sphere of permanence. Good scouts, but doesn't actually help me. Right, tomorrow I'll have about 6k. It's not worth setting off with only 1,500 troops worth of stuff. Um, the person who I want to do the job is him. We have so many heroes in the daisy chain, though, now. It's just hilarious. I actually don't need this many. How far can you get tomorrow, my man? I'm getting an awful long way. So is Deary a free... Um, thinker now I think well so we've got way too many heroes here there's some jobs to be done down here um, so Sam take all that back and upgrade it all yes it's fine learns bless Give me something I can run around with. You take these. I just haven't... Like, the combats have gone just generally quite badly. That This is the thing. I'm getting salty because... I feel like I'm fighting badly, but part of it is I just don't have any good instinctive, intrinsic knowledge and understanding of the strengths and weaknesses of the factory. Like, with the engineers there... Maybe I should have, they just should have stayed right at the very, very back. But then again, the automatons got crushed on turn one. So that was a huge repair that they did. But then I went around and did the fire breathing. That was the that was the bad evaluation. It's like, okay, 11 ogres. No, I did eight ogres? No problem. I've got 40 of these fire breathing women. I'm like, bring this on. 
they just get slaughtered, right? Just get absolutely slaughtered, get shot by the uh, evil eyes, killed four of them. Eleven evil eyes killed four of them, so they're very squishy. Yeah, so there's that. But also I had um, underestimated ogres. I'd forgotten how great they were, just had pound for pound how good they are. Um, so that was a bad move. Um, I'm not. I don't want to sound like I'm making a massive, complete excuse. Like, oh, it's because I don't understand the town properly. 